Ooh, good start. Hello everyone and welcome back to The Average. Today we have a little fun package. Ugh, I don't know if you can see that, but a really kind patron of mine sent me some money on the culture hustle. So I don't know if you've heard of him before, but he's Stuart Semple's guy who does like the unicorn milk and the glow in the dark paint and all these fun things. I'm gonna open up a big haul for you today, um, sent by Steph L who's really, 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 really kind, and thank you so much, Steph. But yeah, I'm really, really lucky to have you as a patron, and you're super lovely and kind. And uh, yeah, let's, so let's get to unboxing. Okay, so first of all, we get this little badge, which is kind of cute, culture hustle. Very nice, added little bonus for them. Um, we get the Technicolor Stick Times Prism. So yeah, I think this is like a paint where you paint on stuff and then it kind of like turns holographic. Could be mistaken, can't remember. But yeah, it's cool packaging and it seems like a little bit of like a perfume box, which is very nice. Mochi, this is not for you. Mochi's like, this box is mine, I claim it. Yeah, that's what's inside. Okay. <laughs> I'm gonna go through and open all this stuff as well, but we'll just do a little unboxing first. And then we've got this coat, it's called, which is a mattifying, water-based, non-toxic, protective membrane. So basically it's just a, um, a, like a varnish to go over the top of things, which is really good because I need that kind of for my books. Do you mind? You're ruining my aesthetic. <laughs> this is supposed to... Mo Mochi. Mochi, this is supposed to be an unboxing, not an inboxing. Could you, um... Could you get out or... Okay. No, stay there. Yeah, that's perfectly fine. As what are you eating? No, that's not for eating. That's for painting. I've also got the blackest black because I had to try it. I always see it advertised and it always looks really, really cool. But basically it's this paint that is the blackest paint supposedly in the world. So when you look at it, it's like a void and they've made a new one. So this is the third version of it. And it's got this amazing like packaging again where it kind of feels like makeup a little bit, which is kind of cool. I think I really like attention to detail with that sort of thing. Mochi, <clears throat> Mochi. I'm gonna take you out. You're super cute, but right you can sit there um what else have i got so i loved the glow in the dark powder so much that i had to get like these two it's a pink glow in the dark and a blue glow in the dark if you haven't seen my glow in the dark one uh where i review this powder i'll put a little link there but i've also used the powder a fair bit because I really, really like it. It's super strong, really good. So I had to get these two colors and I think it's gonna be really fun to like experiment with them. Also, who doesn't love glow in the dark? <laughs> I love glow in the dark. Um, and I think that's it. I think this is the last one. This is the phase one, which I think shines pink. So you put like a layer of paint and then you put this pigment and it, sh it like does like a haze, purple haze to pink. So like color changing paint which is really, really interesting. I'm not sure what I'm gonna use this on. Um, same with the Technicolor, because I, when you look on the site, they kind of use them on objects, um, like sculptures and stuff, but I think I'll be fine. Like, I think I can try a little painting with these and see what happens. Okay, but yeah. Uh, so these are what I've got. And this all came to, I think, about 120 pounds plus shipping. Well, shipping was free, actually. I also have the unicorn milk, which I have a video on, which I previously purchased. I don't know why I've never tried these, but they're, they're powdered paint. So I think I'm gonna give them a go today to just have everything kind of culture hustle. And that comes with the super base, which I have used a few times, which actually smells amazing. It smells like flowers. I don't know how to describe it. So yeah, let's give this all a little bit of a go. Hey, that took a while but it was actually quite fun and like I think it's quite nice to do something with your hands it's kind of like an enjoyable experience so some people might be like why don't you just buy it out of the bottle but I think it's quite a nice thing to to have anyway uh, there are the colors 
I'm gonna use the black now. Let's see what this is like. Ooh. Come as a really cool bottle, so let's just put some on here, I guess. Oh, let's put it here. Oh my god, that comes out really gloopy. I don't know if I was supposed to make shake it. Yes. Ah! Just spilled black paint everywhere. And good thing it's the blackest paint in the whole universe. So that was a great time. It's coming out less watery, but I think that's gonna be our paint for now. Uh, let's put it back in here because I'm scared of it leaking everywhere. The glow in the dark I can do in a bit. Uh, I'm gonna try the phase one. Let's open this up. Feels like it's a nice like perfume box. It's just really weird. Inside you get, ooh, these two things. A little mixing spatula that looks like a little ice cream spoon, doesn't it? Ooh, looks awesome. Okay, I think that was too much, but fine. I'll use this bottle just in case it's like slightly different. I don't know why it would be, but yeah. Yeah, let's mix this all up. Okay, so it's quite a watery consistency, so I'm just gonna add a bit more. Uh, I think it looks quite cool. Okay, and now let's try the Technicolor. I'm like, how do I open this? <laughs> Am I being dumb? There we go. This was just a bit, a bit tight. Ugh, quite tight. Stuck in there. Oh my god. Okay. Cool box though. Little package got this stick which I don't know what this is so I'm gonna read the instructions I've got prism I think I might add this like after I've done my painting I've got this little like stick with like a little beauty blender on the end it seems it's kind of cool it'd be quite fun to like play with let's do a little bit of a test of the colors first and then I will get to painting something so here is the pink it's super super gloopy um, but I think if I mix the colours it will like quite look quite nice maybe. I think the problem is the super base is such like a clear um, cream colour. It's not kind of it's not really neutral, so it's kind of making the paints come out as this super pale um, sort of pastel colour mix, which is not like a bad thing because it depends what you want, but like it might be hard to paint realistic things. And here's the black that is going to be apparently the blackest black in the whole world. And again, it's looking kind of transparent. Oh, look, it's not super opaque, so not sure what went wrong there. So I started off by just using a roller of these paints because I wanted to get like a thin layer down of the colour. And I think it looked really cool. I miss using my roller. I just found it because I found all the pigments and I was like, oh yeah, I used to like using this roller with stuff so it made sense for me to try it out. I picked like a sort of simple image of Pinterest just to try and like use all of these different materials the best that I could so I'm just layering down like different colours. I picked like this pink basketball court which had like a really light pink um, green wall in the background and then some houses in the distance and then just a blue sky and I felt that it would work with the colour choices that had been made for these pigments because obviously I didn't pick these colours, these are just like the basic colours from the pigments but if you wanted to make different colours I'm sure it makes more sense to like mix them up instead of just using them straight out of the, the tubs. But yeah I do think they're really light different colours and I think in the future if they were going to like make more colours it would make more sense because I think these are colours that are just a bit zany for like everyday use but I mean some people might like that so it's fair enough. You kind of can pick what you buy so you know if you don't want these colours then but maybe more options would be cool. So I'm just layering down different colours now trying to just kind of get like a bit of distance in the image and some shadowing and stuff just layering down a basic image and then I'm going in with like the colour phase which never really worked actually which I was quite surprised I was like maybe I shouldn't have used it with other paints maybe I'm supposed to use it just like a single thing by itself but I did dry it with a hairdryer and when I dried it with a hairdryer it turned pink and then as it cooled down it turned purple again and I was like ooh did I ruin the pigment in this or was that like 
just part of it, I don't know. So it never really worked, it just stays kind of a purple. I then used the prism colour which I really fell in love with. I layered down some of that stick uh, paint or whatever it's called, it's basically glue and it was drying and whilst it was drying I started to use the glow in the dark paints. I used a little bit around the light and then some in the distance. Maybe it doesn't really make sense lighting wise um, but I was just trying to use all of these different elements in one piece so bear with me if it doesn't really make sense with the glow in the dark and different things but I think overall I think it's quite a nice image and also it just it was nice to experiment with all these different materials and kind of get a grips on them and see what I like best. I definitely love this prism stuff. I'm not sure if it works well in this image but it's so amazing. You can't really tell from this angle but it's like this silver dusting basically that just clings to that stick uh, glue that you put down and then when you put it in the light it just shines so beautifully. It shines like a different hues of pinks and purples. It's really pretty. And I really, really like it. I think it's probably really good for like sculptures and stuff more so, but it's really cool for imagery as well. So yeah, that's everything together. And I'll show you guys how the glow in the dark looks now. And this is the final result of using all the different paints and techniques of this uh, Culture Hustle paint haul. I really like the way that this is. Like maybe it's not really in keeping in my style per se but I used like the materials how I could use them which I probably already said but yeah I really like the phase stuff I think that's really cool um, technique and I think you can do like loads of different textures and I think it's really fun let's go and see what the glow in the dark looks like so this is what the glow in the dark looks like and I think it's so cool I really love the glow in the dark from Culture Hustle. I think it looks amazing. And yeah, so that's the final look and feel of this painting. I think you can have so much fun with this stuff and I'm really happy to be able to have a go with it. And also thanks again to Steph L for helping me get these things and I'm, I'm really happy, thanks a lot. And uh, that's the end of the video, so please give me a thumbs up if you liked it and I'll see you next time, hopefully. Bye.